Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're playing How Buddies Parents Met. It's part of my Steam cleaning series. As I go through every game in my Steam library, eventually, then arbitrarily rate and or review them with we play time. I don't quite know what the game is, but the game's out at random. Um, but by the looks of it, this is a jigsaw puzzle game, and that means it's probably very straightforward. So let's do love at first sight. All right. Well, as you know, oh, we're getting little hearts with every single piece we place. As we know, um, the trick to a jigsaw puzzle game. Oh, they auto snap. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. The trick to every jigsaw puzzle game is to just start with the corner or the edges and work your way around because that's all that matters. Wow, I nailed it. Nailed it. Look at look at my no scoping on these puzzle pieces. This feels like here. Um, it does allow you to put pieces together more arbitrarily, as in like you can put things that don't match immediately. Um, it's weird that like the box isn't there. Like, you know, they should show me like the like, on a puzzle. It's like, oh, this is what you're building. Um, it's a little weird they don't do that, but that's okay. I I expect we're not gonna have any trouble whatsoever uh, solving this mystery of who Buddy's parents are. Uh, it's probably over there. I mean, this looks like there's flesh on there. Oh, there we go. There's more of her face. Um, that's more your face. Got it. Oh, all right. Now scoped it. Here? That's fine. We'll get there. Uh, I generally don't go for this style of puzzle. And the reason I say that is because what I'm hoping for is something out of this puzzle, which may be unfair to ask, is something that is being done that can't be done with the physical puzzle. As in, hey, why would I play this instead of purchasing an automobile or a, a, a locomotive, which I could also afford? You know, what is what is this game doing for me that isn't just, you know, replicating a, a, a inferior, I don't know if inferior is the right term, but like, I would like to be able to go, oh, wow, they're doing something only only a video game could do. And you know, that might be a little unfair to to ask that, but that's that's what I want, you know? I want, oh, there, there. I want the game to be like, ah, well, you could have only gotten this, this experience, this take on a classic puzzle making day could only have been gotten through the power of uh, video games. And that's, as I said, probably a little unfair. Probably asking for a game to do more than it's cut out to do. And I don't feel guilty for that. I'm just saying that's that's what I want. Are you there? Yeah. You're there. I feel like you're, yeah. And you're... You're over here? I want to switch you like there, but that doesn't fit. Maybe you're, we'll figure it out. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking for here is, you know, tell me why I should, should play this game over just getting a, a straightforward puzzle experience. And it could just be like, maybe it's, you know, the, what the puzzles are. Maybe there's something else going on. Um, but without that extra edge, I'm just doing a relaxing puzzle game and that's, that's totally fine. I'm not saying that every game has to be, um, some genre defining, you know, mega, I don't know what, the word, what I wanted to end with it from the mega there. It doesn't have to be like a genre defining thing for everything. It just has to be like, hey, tell tell me why I should care. <laughs> that sounds way more dismissive than I want. Um, more 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 to the vibe of like, hey, I bet you're doing something interesting. Let's see it. You know, put put me on the ropes here. Show me show me what you got. Oh, that's a cattail right there.
And without that extra, as they say in the French, uh, je ne sais quoi, it kind of falls a little flat, you know? Oh, well, you gotta be there, yeah. Maybe, is there a roguelike puzzle placing game? Is that what we is that what we need to build? We being a relatively I, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for anything these days. Except for making these videos, apparently. Uh for my fan. Uh, um There we go. There we go. This feels like this should be There we go. Okay. Um I want to put that near there, but it doesn't go there. I mean, it's got a chill vibe. Don't get me wrong here. And I'm all a fan of vibes which chill. Um... Like, I feel like you should be here, but you're not. I should stop trying to cheat the auto snap and just, I don't know, <laughs> play play normal. There's more of your head. But I want to cheat the auto snap. That's what separates us from the, from the animal kingdom, from the weasels. All right, you're coming together there pretty well. There's that bottom piece I didn't have. Well, that's your basket, so that must be there. Uh, feels like you belong in this general area. That's gotta be his big head. His big dumb head. There we go. So that must be there. All right, so if that's there, then you must be actually like there. Okay. All right, well, now that we got that sussed, not like in like suspect, you know, suspect, like, you know, as the kids say, playing the, playing the, uh, what's that game called again? The one with the, the Among Us. Oh, I'm so hip. I'm tired. I'm very tired. I, I just drove for a whole long time. I was on vacation. It was great. I mean, it's short, but, you know. It's not about the size of the vacation. It's about how you use it. You know, that's what they say. Um, oh, look at that. They're buying candy. And they both want the same candy. Where does this three go? It's got to be, like, there? I don't know. Well, that's your pants. Put your pants on. At the grocery store, put some pants on. All right. You have such a big head. That's someone's arm. There it is. Yeah, your head is huge. It's one, two, three-ish, maybe four pieces high. You should really see a doctor about the size of your head. Ah, maybe it's, eh, maybe it's not so big. I don't know. I'm not a headologist. I want to say you're, yeah, you're there. Oh, that's where my other price tag goes. It's so fuzzy. That's not where that goes. There we go. There's more of your shirt and your cat. There's your your head. There's part of your dress. Part of your arm. Boom, boom, boom. Nailing it. The cat, no, arm. Let's look for the cat butt. Uh, there. There. Um, I think that's... If I was to say what, like, you know, what I would like 
this what the genre needs, which I don't think the genre really needs anything. But let's let's play it. Let's let's play in the space. Um, I'd say what this genre needs is something. <sighs> I don't want to say like roguelike or something, but like because like it's a puzzle. Like they can always reshuffle the pieces. What I'm what I'm saying is like there needs to be. I think again, need is very well. I would like it to be like. Like a, some spinning plates, as they say, you know, like something else is going on. So you're like, oh, I got to solve the puzzle, but I also got to, you know, do the other thing. Now it's a very different experience. And like, if you're coming to this and going like, I just want to chill, man. I want to put together some puzzle pieces and make these, these two humans mooch to make my cat happy. Then don't listen to me. I mean, no one really listens to me. So like, why would you start now? But like, this is, this is fine. I, I don't want to play more of it, but like it's, it's fine, you know. Life is like a box. Oh my God, force jump! You don't know, you don't know what you're gonna get. All right, menu. But do I not? Oh, there. Oh, no, they, then they go on a. They go out a go to a party together. All right. Well, this has been How Buddies Parents Met. It's a fine, it's a fine puzzle game. Oh, I would never do this. It's a fine puzzle game if you want to put together puzzles, but like, I, I don't, not without something else going on. Cheers.